the new cashless Apple protecting the iPad from the black market? Or is Apple just getting in on the business of consumer tracking? Well, joining us now is Phone Dog. Uh, dot com editor in chief Noah Kravitz and Piper Jeffrey senior retail analyst Gene Munster. Noah, what do you reckon? Is this trying to stop people from buying 50 iPads, going to another part of the world where they're not yet available, and flogging them off at double the price? Well, you know, Amanda, you don't have to go anywhere. You just log on to eBay and flip them there. And uh, that's what people have been doing. And while Apple, you know, hasn't publicly said anything, confirmed the policy, there was a report actually last month on a blog that got picked up by some, a couple of more major tech publications about someone who claims he was trying to be a do-gooder, buy the iPads, sell them at cost to people who couldn't get them yet, and he was banned for life, according to his report, by Apple, said no more iPads for you ever. Uh, so it seems like there's anecdotal evidence anyway that that's what they are doing, is they're tracking the purchases to ensure um, that you're not buying too many, and again, you know, they're not confirming this publicly, but it, the common wisdom seems to be that they are trying to, you know, mm. keep them off of the black and gray market. What do you reckon of the motives behind it all, Gene? That's absolutely it. They want to keep them off the black market. I mean, this is ARB 101 for anybody who can get a hold of an iPad. I just went on to uh, Mercado Libre, which is the Amazon of Latin America. And for that 599, 64 gig iPad, you can get 1,249 US dollars. That's over 100% markup. We should all just quit our jobs and basically buy a bunch of iPads and go out and, and, uh, and, and cash those in. So this is, there's clearly a motive. We saw this exact same thing when the iPhone came out. We'd see busloads of people going into Apple stores with cash and basically bring them over to uh, the Far East. So this is not mm -hmm. a surprise and a very good move by Apple. And Noah, do you think it's also just a way of getting people to spend more in the Apple store or on Apple products? Because essentially, if you've got the plastic fantastic credit card, you might be more likely to spend more than, say, taking in a bucket load of cash. Well, you know, uh, if you look at Apple's recent uh, financial reports, they're not having any problems getting people to spend money. So whether it's cash or plastic, and there's certainly plenty of Apple products you can buy with cash, um, but, you know, they, their retail strategy has been strong, they're, they're doing well, and, you know, they're not, they're in the business of selling hardware. So if there is any kind of ulterior motive, I would think it's that and not collecting data or, you know, anything. They're not selling you to, uh, you know, telemarketers list, that kind of thing. Um, but, you know, they, they, I think like Gene said, that there's a proven record of, and especially with the iPhone when people were unlocking them and then mm -hmm. using them on other carriers, that's the kind of thing that's important to Apple to, to keep tabs on as much as they can. Gene, super quick, what's your call on the stock for Apple? We like it. The iPad is going to become the Mac of the masses. You need to own it for that. Okay, thanks very much, Noah and Gene. Coming up next, a brief break.